Hello students, how are you all? I hope you all are doing good. Children, as you all are aware that we were doing our revision classes and today we are going to start with chapter 8 decimals. Now decimals, first of all, you need to understand what do we mean by decimal. Decimal is a point which placed in between two numbers means uh, again there is another decimal number expanded system its place where you chart each and everything you are going to do it in this chapter first of all decimal is a point which is placed between two numbers and after this point these uh, values or these numbers are going to assign with another place value and we need to understand first of all what are the place value will be assigned to them now you might have seen that decimal point in that rupee also. In rupee we will be putting that point which is denoting paisa. Paisa is what a part of rupee only but that will be denoting in that uh, fraction form or that fraction can be converted into that decimal form. So half of a rupee that is 50 paisa and which we can write it 0.5 also, 0.50 also. So uh, now a mixed fraction whenever you will be having a mixed fraction that mixed fraction is going to represent it in the form of decimal only. So place value what will be the place value of decimal numbers that we are going to understand first. After that we uh, will be doing that uh, what is the expanded form how we are going to write it that expanded form that we will look it into. Now, for example, if you have been given height of anybody in like centimeter, so simple conversion also when we were doing that conversion, in that also, like if my height is given 165 centimeter, now if somebody is going to ask that what will be your height in a meter, so I am going to do that conversion 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter, so this 165 centimeter what it will be that will be divided by 165 will be divided by 100. So what I am getting here 1.65. Now the unit will be meter. So what I have done here. Now this decimal point is to represent the part of centimeter when we will convert it into meter. So that is a conversion. Decimal help us to represent that any particular thing into the form of other helping in conversion also helping in the representation of that number also. So let's see uh, what will be the place value. First of all what will be the place value of that. So uh, place value chart related to that that we will look at it too. In decimal the previous number which we will be having that is having same value like for example you have been given with 24 point 562. I am taking only an example 24.562 if this number is given to you. The previous number as we were having this, that place value only. So you are going to make that place value chart. Decimal point wherever you will be having that decimal point that place you are going to leave. Now point. Now before that point before that point we will be having ones, tens, hundred and so on. Ones, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand, lakh, ten lakh, crore, ten crore and so on. But after decimal we will be having tens, tens, t-e-n-t-h-s which will be denoted with small t. Then hundred, hundred which will be denoted with small h. So understand this that thousands that will be denoted with small t and small h. So how we are going to write it? 4, 2, here 5, tens, hundreds and the other one that is your thousands. Thousands which will be denoted with small t, small h. So this will become small t small h. So what will be the place value here? Decimal. Before decimal we have ones, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand and so on. As we were having earlier in that numbers 
number system we have done. After decimal we have tens, hundreds, thousands, then we have all these will be starting with small only. Tens, hundred, thousands, ten thousands, T, T, H and so on. So here after decimal you will not find it out any one's place. So that places will start with small t only, small t, tens only. So I hope this place value is clear to you all. Now related to that only, now how, what do we mean by tens? So let us understand what do we mean by tens? Or how we can write it in expanded form or if it has been given in expanded form, how we can symbolize it. Let's see. Now this 24.562 Tens place means what? This will be 20 plus 4 Now tens place means what? That 5 is multiplied by 1 by 10 Since in the decimal form we have 0 0.5 that only Now 6 is 100 place It means 6 will be multiplied by 6 will be multiplied by 1 by 100 then 2, 2 will be multiplied 1 by 1000. How does it work now? If you are going to write it in the form of decimal, so it will become 20 plus 4, 1 decimal base 0 0.5. What we have done in previous class that as many zeros we have in the denominator, that many decimal places will be increased in the numerator. So tenths means 1 by 10. Hundred means one by hundred and thousands means one by thousand. So as many ten, hundred or thousand we will be having in the denominator. That many decimal places will be increased in the numerator. So what it will be 0 0.06 plus 0 0.002. So three places, thousand. So three decimal places will be there. 100, then 2 decimal places will be there, 1s or 10s, so we will be having 1 decimal place. As many zeros will be there in the denominator, those many uh, places, decimal places will be increased. So let's see one more example related to that only. Now uh, sometime you have been given with this expanded form only and you will be asked to write that number. So how you are going to do those kind of a question like express or write each of the following as decimals. Sometimes you have been given in words and then you need to write it. First we will see that how we are going to write it in decimal form and then we will be understand that how we will be writing it into words. Now when uh, if you are writing in words there is nothing difficult in that as we were speaking in the same way we need to write it so uh, that also we will understand just now now write each of the following as decimal write as decimals so you have been given in expanded form and you need to write it in decimals so here a part first that is 30 plus 6 plus 2 that will be divided by 10. Now what I have told you that 30 plus 6 that will become 36 and as many zeros were there in the denominator those many decimal places they have. So this will become 36.2. Easy, simple and how we can uh, write it in words understand with this example only 36 means uh, 36 36 how can we write it in decimal so 36.2 also you can write or 36 and 2 tenths 36 how we will write it in words so there are numerous ways to write it in words Number 1 you can write 36, 36, 
point two. Generally, we were doing in this way only, like as we were speaking the numbers. In that same way, we were writing in decimals. Or, or thirty-six point or thirty-six and two tenths. So sometimes you have been given this also. This form also you must be knowing it. Since sometimes you have been given with this form only, and you need to write it in uh, decimal form, or you need to write it in uh, expanded form. Sometimes you have been given in words, and then you have been asked to write it into decimal form as well as in expanded form. So you must be knowing how to write it in uh, uh, the simple way. As we were speaking, thirty-six point two. In that same way, we were writing thirty-six point. Two thirty-six and two tenths. Let's take one more example here. One more example. We are going to take it. Write it as decimal, as well as that only we will understand how to write it in words. Let's start with another example. Now six hundred six hundred two plus eight by ten. Plus four by hundred. So, what is given here? Now here six hundred plus two. So before decimal also one decimal place, one place is not there. That is tens. Tens place is not there. Ones and then hundred we have. So this will become six hundred two. The place which we do not have on that place we are going to put that zero. Then point eight. Tens and four hundreds. Tens and hundreds. Now, how we are supposed to write it, it into place value? Uh, uh, how we will write it in words? So, for first way, six hundred two point eight four. Fine. Eight four. We are not going to write it eighty four. Fine. Another way to write it, the same is. One way is six hundred two point eight four. This is one of the way to write it. Eight four. Another way to write it that is six hundred two and eighty four hundreds. So the bigger place value that only we are going to take it. Eighty four eight tens and four hundred that we are not going to write it. The bigger place value whichever we will be having, whether it is hundred or thousand or whichever we will be having. So that only we are going to take it. Eighty four hundreds. Eighty four hundreds. So I hope that is clear to you all how to write it in that particularly. Now, what you will be finding in your exercise one, how to represent it, represent the given decimal number in expanded form by using place value chart. Again, you need to require to represent the given number on number line. So, the whole number and then further the part of them that we are going to look it into, and then you can represent. For example, if you have been given with now representation of decimal number. On number line. Let's understand. Okay. Now, representation of a decimal number on number line. Representation on number line. Representation on number. Line. So what happened? How we are going to represent it on number line? Number one. Okay. So if we have this number line and we have that for the number zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and so on. If we will be given a number three point two. If we have been given with the number three point two, it means three point two is lies between lies between 
lies between three and four. Three and four. It will be lies between three and four. It means between three and four, you will be. You must be having ten points. Now in decimal number. you will be having like in fraction we will look it into denominator and that that many part we will be doing in that number line but here in decimal number we will be having 10 scale between two points so between 3 and 4 we have 10 points so 3.1 3.2 3.1 and 3.2 the second point will be 3.2 the only thing you need to take care that whichever number you have been given with like 5.1 5.8 5.9 whichever number you have been given with in which two number between which two numbers that number is going to come if that number is going to come between like uh, 2 and 3 2.8 the which lies between 2 and 3 then you just count that the, that uh, number line which we are going to use for this decimal that is same as of your scale scale which is you are using in your geometry that same scale we will be using here to represent it fine so tens hundreds you can represent it now let's take some example like another example of this number line we can take it here instead of 3.2 if you have been given it, instead of 3.2 if you have been given with 6.5 so 6.5 lies between 6.5 lies between which two numbers 6 and 7 means after 6 uh, we are going to count, count five lines 1 2 3 4 5 and the middle line will become 6.5 here you can represent that 6.5 easy the same scale which you were using in your geometry box just like that you need to make the number line and then represent that number then a uh, place value which we have done tens hundred and thousands that also you remember the place value tens small t hundred small h thousands that is small t small h now what we have we have that how to express in a centimeter if you have been given in millimeter so conversion if you have been given in millimeter and you need to represent it in centimeter you all are aware that in 1 cm we have 10 mm so whatever millimeter have been given to you that will be divided by 10 so once it will be divided by 10 then the answer the decimal answer which you will be getting that is in centimeter only so simple conversion that is uh, that you will be doing in uh, here by when you were doing this millimeter and centimeter also and that same you are going to do it in that meter also when we were doing conversion among centimeter and meter in 1 meter we have 100 cm the same kind of a conversion we will be doing so if conversion also is an important part of this decimal decimal all the answers you will be getting in decimal as you have done earlier also this conversion part like if you have been given with a uh, 116 mm so we all are aware that in 1 cm we have 10 mm 10 points are there in your scale so 116 mm that will be equal to what you are going to do it One one six will be divided by ten. Then put the decimal here, and the answer which you will be getting is centimeter. I hope this question is clear to you all. How to do the? That is simple conversion which you were doing in earlier chapters also in measurement also you have done. Similarly, we'll find it out hundreds also. and sometime you have been asked that write a fraction in decimals so some part of this uh, chapter that we are going to look it into tomorrow and today we have done an introduction or short introduction related to that you can do questions from your book you can revise this chapter and then whatever doubt you will be having that doubt you can ask from uh, in the online class 
So today I will be finishing the class here. That's all for today children. Have a good day.